Libra. It's your girl Tasha, aka Mama Jim, aka Jen the Butterfly. Hold on, y'all. Let me see. Yes. Um, I was telling y'all my name. Hey, I'm Tasha, aka Mama Jim, aka Jen the Butterfly. And this is your July monthly general tarot scope. Thank you so much for those who've been liking, sharing, and subscribing to my videos. Thank you for you guys who have continually, sh continually showed your support to my YouTube channel and to my Instagram page. For those who do not follow me on Instagram, my, na my name is Jim, G-E-M, the Butterfly underscore tarot. All right. This is for Virgo, not Virgo, Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, I appreciate your patience as I continue to get settled in. I will officially start taking personal readings back the weekend of the 23rd. Um, so um, I will post, uh, I will make updates to my website so you guys can go on there and we can get you scheduled for a reading. And let's see, got some new decks coming in, got new spreads, got some giveaways, got some sales. I've been, you know, I've been in the lab thinking about some things, guys. So don't think I've just been running here just dilly-dallying, you know, moving is hard work, man, especially in this, especially in this, y'all, especially in this Georgia heat. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's 4th of July and they are doing firecrackers outside or fireworks whatever you call them um and they are like shaking me up man. you know my nerves bad you had a card to pop out guys and i do have the wisdom for healing cards and the money and the law of attraction cards all right let's get into it and see what we have for my libra general advice career finance love and health for my from a Libras, Libras. Y'all hear that? Make no damn sense. All right, let's look at this card that you had to pop out, Libra. You have the hangman. Let it go. Let it go. That's what this card is talking about, okay? You got to let it go. Whatever it is, just stop stressing. Because I feel like you guys are stressing. Whatever you've been stressing about, let that shit go. If it's over somebody else, let it go. If it, you're trying to reach some type of goal and you keep feeling like, you keep being pulled in another direction, stop it. I feel like you're working against yourself. When it comes to, yes, you are working against yourself. Um, as a general advice, you have the Ace of Cups in reverse. This is you not listening to yourself. This may be, again, like I said, your relationship may not be working, may not be going in the way, the direction that you envision it. Stop pressuring yourself stop pressuring your mate stop putting pressure on the situation because i feel like it's working against you when you do so okay when it comes to career you have the star card um all in all i feel like career is pretty good for my libras this month i feel like um you are in a situation y'all hear that shit oh my god um, I needed to yell out the window like the tarot lady trying to make her videos. Y'all need to stop that shit. But I love my neighbors though. They're sweet. Anyway, um, so if y'all see me jump like and you don't hear anything, just know it's it's outside. But anyway, the star card is I feel like you're in a position right now where you 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 have reciprocity with your um with your with your fellow co-workers with your managers you you feel like you're feeling pretty good for the month of july honestly you really don't have any complaints for those of you who are in a new job this is like a dream come true maybe you just started a new job within uh the last month or so and it, it's everything that you thought it would be congratulations for you that is always a good thing to do maybe for some of you are you actually i feel like for some of you are actually um you actually jumped out on faith and or will be jumping out on faith. Maybe with this, the hangman, 
You're jumping out on faith and doing your own personal endeavors as well this month. This is like, again, it's a dream come true. It's like you're pouring all that energy that you used to pour into um, something that you necessarily did not enjoy. Or you just, you know, you made peace with doing but it wasn't necessarily fulfilling, but now you're pouring that energy back into yourself. You know, you're pouring that creative energy back into um, whatever this project is. And, you know, you're feeling at one with yourself when it comes to career. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, when it comes to finances, you have the five of wands in reverse. Um, I, I actually like this card in this position. I feel like, you know, I feel like the struggle is, is pretty much over or it feels like it's, it's heading in a better direction, um, than what it had been. I feel like you've been feeling, uh, like you've been having to rob Peter to pay Paul to get what you need. Some of that, that stress, part of that is because whatever this job is for those who are not, you know, you, you have a more traditional job set, you are being paid very well. Like, I feel like these people... Actually, you made a during negotiations for your salary. You made a you made a um, an offer and they accepted it. So you know what? It's like moving on up. Like you you're really in that that spot where you know you have uh, you you know that you definitely you may have to like catch some bills up or whatever. But it's on an upward um, hill now. Okay, so which is good. Um, and again, it still verifies to me that you you got whatever you got what you wanted, because I feel like if it was finance, like I feel like you were a, if you had to do some type of. Um, you had to go through multiple interviews or deal with other people that were vying for this job, you won out and you got this job and um, your money is definitely going to be better. Um, you feel like you don't, it's almost like it placing you in a different tax bracket. Okay. Whatever that means for you, which is good. Love. You have the eight of wands in reverse. So uh, again, and that's where I feel like this Ace of Cups, I don't feel like definitely by love and, I mean, work and money, I don't feel like there. that's where this um, issue is. I feel like for you, the month of July, Libra, it's in love in your relationships. You, you're you not getting the messages that you want to hear. Maybe a delay. I feel like there is somebody that could be definitely in your circle or someone near you that you're wanting to hear from, but you have not heard from them. And you thought by now that you definitely would have heard from this person by now. And it's starting to cause you to worry. Um, now this could be for some of you, I'm hearing for some of you, you may have a loved one who is overseas somewhere and you haven't heard, maybe, you know, I don't know what they're doing, but I feel like they may be, yeah, like overseas for work for whatever reason. And you usually have a schedule of where you talk to this person, but you haven't been having you haven't been talking to this person um as as much as you like and it's causing you to worry not necessarily for it could be some for some of them for their safety but for some of them it's making you worry about the security of your relationship it's making you worry um about where things stand between you and this person i feel like for a lot of them for, for the ones who are going through this situation the person does feel safe to me um persons feel safe to me and th there's another half of them um feel like they're just busy they just can't they don't have the time to get at you the way like you used to maybe used to facetime a lot with these people or skype with this person and you don't have time maybe for some of you you're in a long distance relationship with someone all the way around the country you know the country or on the other side of the world and you haven't been able to talk to this person the way that you would like to as often as you would like to okay and it's causing you to worry but i feel like you don't you shouldn't have you shouldn't be worrying um i feel like you just um you really just you drive yourself crazy honestly um at this point, it's like, I feel like you're coming up with all different types of scenarios 
that are not even true. Okay, so just be mindful of that. When it comes to your health, you had that your health, you had the tower upside down. Let me tomorrow upside down. <laughs> tower reverse. Um anticipate for those who have been going to the who yeah, who are like waiting on test results. Um, and I do want to, let me just make this disclaimer. I do not do health readings, um, when it comes to, um, when it comes to like, do I have such and such? Will I, you know, will I get, I don't do those type of readings. Um, I can just offer you small insights. I, I prefer not to, not to say that I can't, I just don't like to, but I feel like for some of you, it feels like whatever you thought, um, it, it, it makes me feel like you're going to get a confirmed diagnosis this month. So if you've been, if, if you've been toiling, like you've been going back and forth to the doctor, trying to undergoing many tests, I feel, I feel like lab work, MRIs, CTs, whatever, trying to find the culprit. I feel like you may find it this month and it probably is going to be what you thought it was. It may not be what you would like it to be, um, but it's, it's something I don't feel like it's as bad as what you envision. And I feel like I don't feel like it's anything that's non-curable or anything. I feel like it's something that's treatable. Um, and it's something that... Um, for some of you, some of you, I feel like it, it could be something that is, um, could be progressive, could be chronic, but it's something that's manageable and it's treatable, okay? Whatever that means. Now, I am hearing for some of you, you may find out that you have an STD this month. Hey, just saying. You may have, the, you know, you may been thinking like, you know what, um... You may be thinking that, especially for some of my women, that if you if you were thinking that um, you you've been battling like a yeast infection or or battling some type of uh, bacterial infection or something like that, it's actually something else. Okay, but it's you kind of had an idea, but you you were hoping that it wasn't that whatever it is. It may not be sexually transmitted, but s some of you actually may end up so be careful wrap it up all right um this month but it's not a shock because i feel like for some of you it wasn't something that was undetectable it was something with clear symptoms whatever that means okay um yeah even for my males like when i see i don't know what's going on there's some, some sexual issues going on when it comes to health this uh this time around in the month of july probably because everybody out here having fun you know having a little bit of too much fun or whatever. Um, like I said, make sure you wrap it up. When I see this tower up, um, re reverse, it almost feels like, not feels like, no, I don't want to say feels. I don't want, um, it reminds me of, uh, when people say like you're burning, like I see this as like a penis and someone's, burning. so my guys, like I'm telling you, you want to wrap up. She may look good, but you want to cover that thing up. All right. Advice. The Hermit card. So, um, I feel like with the Hermit card is you definitely, again, you definitely want to take your time and um, seek out the answer, seek out the truth. You don't want to speculate. Definitely do not want to speculate. You do want to do your research. You do want to make sure that you spend some time to yourself. You do want to make sure that, you know what, I feel like for some of you, especially when it is in this love relationship um, sector, you may be trying to confide in friends like, oh my God, that's not what you're going to be saying. But you may be trying to confide in your friends like, well, what does this mean if somebody does it? Don't do that. Listen to your intuition. That's part of the issue right now is that you're not listening to your intuition. Um, really think about if this is a situation, like I said, with the person that you, you know, you've really been talking to this person a lot. And, you know, and I feel like this person, there's distance. This is not something immediate. Okay. 
Um, and there's been some distance between you and this person. Or, yeah, like you haven't been communicating like you usually have. Please don't jump to the worst con um, conclusion and think that, oh, God, it's over. She doesn't want me anymore. He doesn't like me anymore. He's talking to somebody. It's not that. Okay? Go back. Take that time to look at what's ha what has been transpiring between you and that person between, you know, be the beginning and now and um, see how things are panning out. You may just and, and, and believe that person, I feel like, too, um, because the hermit... The hermit is a very wise person. You know, you definitely don't want to jump to conclusions. This is not a person that's going to jump to conclusions. They're going to think about everything before they make a decision. And, and they're going to be in deep reflection about this as well. You know, they they learn. Um, it's asking you to make an informed decision. Be careful about the steps that you make. You do not go around accusing people of cheating. All right, because I feel like some people may do that or like you, you, you don't want me. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. And also for some of you, um, y'all been getting some crazy messages this month. When it comes to this right here with this health situation, especially when it, I, I feel like sexual organs, um, especially if you've been out there having a lot of fun. Okay. No judgment. Before you go off accusing this person of giving you something, you need to make sure it really is that before. It really is that and it really came from that person. If you've been sleeping with multiple people, you do not want to be going off, you know, um, making assumptions and acute, like making accusations to other people. Um, that's a very strange message that I hear. Um, you, you, and it's just telling you, you got to make wiser decisions. Okay, when it comes to definitely when it comes to money, you know, I feel like you are going to be making more wise decisions. Like I feel like for some of you, you're going to definitely be in the house a little bit more as well, too, which is, you know, this this tower situation, whatever this is, um, it may actually slow you down for a little bit. Make you may make you go back and reassess what the hell you're doing, you know. But again, it is what it is. Um for some of you in this relationship issue, I feel like with this higher, this, I keep saying higher, higher thing, it's the hermit card. Sorry, guys. Um, it may make you go back to reassess exactly, you know, do we even really have a future? Because I feel like um, for, especially if this is a relationship that is pretty new and is definitely long distance, it's going to be making you look at it from a very realistic point of view, like to even, to, to even see that, even decide if you want to continue um, entertaining this person because maybe you're realizing that you need a little bit more than what you what you guys have been doing lately. Um, if this is someone that's in a relationship, either you or your partner may not be communicating effectively. And I think you, I really feel like you need to remember that this month. You do not want to jump the gun and say anything that you may regret later. Um, and I feel like, you know, take, I feel, I feel like somebody, one of my, some of my Libras, your partners may be acting out of character. Again, like this, this person, the long distance person, remember who that person is. I feel like this person is your, your partner is going through something. OK, so, you know, if they usually are very affectionate with you or maybe you've been very you used, used to be very affectionate with them. But now somebody's acting a little, you know, they're acting opposite and what their usual is. Take into account that, you know, something else deeper may be going along before you want to start saying, well, you know, you don't love me anymore, blah, 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 blah. OK, let's look at your money and the law of attraction cards. Hey, I can have money and freedom too, hand in hand. Um, <clears throat> this is about, this, this is tied to the number 31, which breaks down to the number four. You're definitely, like I said, you're reconstructing your um, financial 
base, your foundation, your fi your financial um, structure. It says a feeling of being overwhelmed is your indica indicator that you are denying yourself access to all manner of cooperation that could assist you if you were not disallowing it. As you begin to feel freer regarding the expenditure of time and money, doors will open, people will come to assist you, refreshing and productive ideas will occur to you, and circumstances and events will unfold. As you change the way you feel, you assess the energy that creates worlds. It is time, it is there for you, for your, they are throwing me off, y'all. Oh my God. Please forgive me. Um, it is there for your ready access at all times. Now, like I said, you know, I can have money and freedom too. And I feel like that's what you have to remember, especially when it comes to your work sector. Let's just give them a minute, children. Maybe they're done. Let me see. Yes. I can have a moment. See? Let them have their moment. They still have their moment. I can have money and freedom too. And I feel like that's what the five of wands is telling you. You know, the best is yet to come to you. Things are only can only go up from here. Um, and you're realizing you have some financial freedom here because like I told you, for some of you, you are actually beginning your own personal endeavors and you're realizing how they are intertwined together. See the two hands? They are connected. All right. They're connected by the thumb. Um, and with this, you are able to build yourself, um, build yourself financially for the long term. You know, I see the flower here. This is about growth and maturity. All right. Wisdom for healing card. Appreciate everything. That's what I feel like this, this I keep saying Hierophant. Um, keep, you know what? Maybe the Hierophant, I keep saying Hierophant because um, you need to, you're definitely not listening to your, your, your higher self. You're not tapping into your own spirit. You're not tapping into whatever uh, religious or spirit-based system that you believe in. That's what I see this Ace of Cups here. You're not being, not allowing yourself to be guided by um, your intuition. You're not tapping in, um, tapping in within yourself. So, and, and, and I feel like if you would, if you did, a lot of the worries and the stress that you're going through right now, you will realize that it's, it's not really uh, warranted or necessary. Um, it says appreciate everything. Look how she's intently just holding. She's carefully holding this. I think this is like a little egg or whatever it is. It's precious. It's fragile to her. Um, and I feel like it's telling you definitely you need to realize, not realize, but you need to hold the things that are near and dear to you. She's holding it towards her heart chakra. And you need to definitely appreciate the little things in life. Um, because I, I just keep feeling like you're not communicating. It's not like you're not communicating at all. I feel it very strongly. You're not communicating at all, but it's not as much as you can right now. And it's, it just seems disheartening to you that you can't do that. But I feel like you need to, any little conversation that you have with this person, you need to appreciate these little things. Because it, it like I said, it's going to pass, but I feel like you guys are just going through a little time right now. Um, it says today's lesson. On this day or in this month, affirm that my life is perfect. Appreciate everything and everyone in your life without doubt or expectations. Your goal is to learn that the way to set change in motion is to bless and feel grateful for even the most difficult parts of your life. Okay? Um, which is so true. Um, back again with this hangman. This is about you just letting go and letting things be how they may. You relinquishing control and um, going with the flow, but appreciating things along the way. When I see the the again the hierophant, damn, 
listen, there is a Taurus or somebody around y'all that is um, really wanting to make themselves known. The Hierophant is the Taurus card. So somebody's really trying to make themselves known. Um, maybe you need to get a little bit more serious about your your uh, your spirituality or your beliefs within yourself or within some a certain system. Because I keep saying that card and it has to be for a reason. Um, the Hermit card, when it says appreciate everything, the Hermit, when he's on his journey, he's outside and he's observing nature, maybe he's telling you to go outside and observe nature and be within nature so you can, so you can appreciate the small things, so you can appreciate the bigger things. He has his lantern and his lantern is lighting the way and along the way he stops and he sees butterflies, he sees grasshoppers, he sees little, um, little ant mounds and he, he, he stops and watches these things and observes these things and it's just in awe of God and the, the creator and, you know, where we are on this earthly plane, regardless of what has gone through, gone on in his life, because he is an old man, you know, this is um, not gender specific, but you know, he has gray hair. He's an aged man. He has enough wisdom to, to learn to just, to want to stop and appreciate the smaller things because he understands that circle of how things go. You have to appreciate the ant. You have to appreciate the snake. You have to appreciate the sky. You have to appreciate the elephant. You have to appreciate everything. Everything works together for the good of man. Okay. And that's what this card is talking about. And I feel like right now you're not in a state of appreciation. Um, you're, you're, and the reason why you're not in a state of appreciation is because you're looking from a place of lack and you're looking from a place of, um, disempowerment or di like pain, like, uh, of, of doubt and, and expectation. And, you know, for those who have been following me, you know, that I tell you, you cannot love with expectation because when you love with expectation your feelings will get hurt all the time so if you're in this thing and you're expecting that this person is going to be happy and chipper y'all chipper your mate is going to be happy and chipper all the time to you it's not going to happen all the time people are people people have moods it's you know you have to be able to roll with the flow if you're in a situation where you know you're used to talking to a person all the time and for right now for whatever constraints you can't do that you, you have to go with the flow. You know, if this is some type of situation where um, you get a diagnosis, you know, that is not very pleasurable, um, that you, you just were not hoping up, you, you were not, um, you were, yeah, like not wanting. Of course, nobody wants any type of diagnosis of anything, but um, appreciate the fact that whatever this is, I, I don't feel like it's permanent. You know what I'm saying? Well, I can't say it's permanent. I don't feel like it's, uh, it's like I said, I don't feel like it's incurable or anything. It's treatable. It's something that you can, you can rid, you can rid yourself of, you know, or it's something that can definitely be managed. Whatever it is, it's not the end of the world. Okay. Whatever it is. Okay. And it's just appreciate the fact that hell appreciate the fact that you, you have health insurance to go get treated because think about all of these people out here that have all of these ailments and they cannot even get health and health insurance or even be seen by a doctor because they don't have uh, proper health care. You know what I'm saying? So be appreciative for the things, even in the bad times. All right. Um, and I feel like when you start to appreciate more things, more appreciating things will come. You will attract those things, things to be appreciated for. I'm all over the place. When you are appreciative, okay? You align yourself with um, a higher vibration and you you allow yourself to um, to draw more, more positivity in your life okay so definitely watch your thoughts this month definitely keep your ideas positive realize things are not as bad as what they seem and you know what there's always a a way forward all right guys so i love you so much have a wonderful wonderful july and take care love you bye